Ah, good morning. I have uh, Ramit Walia, uh, an entrepreneur of Indian origin from uh, Kenya. Uh, he is uh, our guest, uh, and uh, I brought him here for a chat in this park. Uh, it's slightly noisy because it's a Sunday. Lots of people are having fun. We are very happy. It's a lively park today, unlike my previous talks. Ramit is uh, a great uh, innovator in. Uh, business applications. He's a chartered accountant. Uh, he is actually basically a, a Jalandhar boy who is now exported out of the country uh, for Kenya's benefit. But uh, my interest in talking to him is are two things. Kenya's potential for tourism and uh, its exciting uh, landscapes which are very exciting. The national parks and uh, the top priority, in fact, my talking to him is, he is working on some uh, business innovations of some gold deposits. As a geologist, I'm very fascinated that uh, a pure chartered accountant is talking about gold. But, you know, all these chartered accountants are focused on money. <laughs> so, I'm happy that he's talking about the gold deposits of uh, Zambia. Uh, Ramit, tell us uh, how the idea came to you and what are you doing? Thank you very much, Doc. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on your video and I look forward to many such videos. Loud, louder. Yeah. As, as I mentioned, uh, being in Kenya, uh, we're exploring various opportunities. We'll possibly start with the gold one. So the idea came Ramit is a soft spoken person. I would request him again to be a bit loud <laughs> because the camera is a little away from us. Yes, yeah, so Doc, uh, like I said, the gold deposits uh, are currently based in Lusaka, Zambia, uh, Rufunsa Island, as it's well known. The idea came up with a business partner of mine who wanted some form of uh, capital injection. So we made a trip to the place and we discovered the deposits and we said we're going to assist the artisans who are mining there currently under uh, tough circumstances and help them collect the ore, process on their behalf and have a sharing proportion. And uh, we're looking forward to getting metallurgists from across the globe to assist us in this processing plant uh, to be deployed in Zambia. And thereafter, as we process the, the ores, we look forward to exporting these in various parts of the world. That's where some of the Indian geology students have a possibility of uh, helping Ramit in uh, Zambia. They will be doing enriching the ore. Say that's a normal course of uh, mining geology and uh, ore genesis in our country, where we know a deposit is poor. Uh, you know, especially gold is never, never, ever uh, so rich. So everywhere gold has to be enriched, and uh, Ramit uh, is focusing on. Uh, some students from across the country and uh, my idea in talking to him was to give ideas to youngsters here. If a chartered accountant of Indian origin in Kenya can be exploring in uh, the South uh, Southern African countries for gold, why can't the Indian students be exploring for such opportunities across the Indian subcontinent and why can't they be also looking across to Africa? Africa is the undiscovered world. And Africa is very beautiful. I had been Ramit's guest. He is a family. So I had been his guest uh, 2018? Yeah, 2018. Yeah, 2018. And I must say that uh, uh, Nakuru is the biggest volcano. Uh, yeah, the Rift Valley. Yeah. Uh, could you tell uh, us a bit more about the Nakuru? Because I miss seeing Nakuru. And uh, that's the reason I have to go again. So Ramit, yeah, tell... You're tell. most welcome, Doc. Yeah. So, Yes, Nakuru is, is, is part of the biggest volcano eruption that ever happened. It comprises of the Rift Valley uh, within the East African region. Uh, in addition to that, we have great uh, places that one could you know, uh, go to. We've got the fantastic uh, national parks, including the Masai Mara, which is close to three to four hours from the capital city of Nairobi. We have excellent mountains, a few uh, like Mount Kenya, we have the Mount Longonot, which are awesome to climb and you know have a look at. Uh, we have fantastic beaches as comparable to Mauritius. 
uh, we have the Diani beach, we have the White Sands beaches, and we also have some heritage points like Lamu, Malindi, which are very good tourist attractions. And as, as such, yes, we, we do encourage people to come and, and explore these areas. See, that's a country with a population of hardly 50 million? Correct. 50 million is the population. And very rich in mineral resources? Uh, is Kenya mineral? rich in mineral resources or the beauty of the landscape? It's the beauty of the landscape, not very rich in minerals. Uh, to some extent we have limestone, we have coal. Yeah. Uh, we rem I remember we yeah. had colleagues from Geological Survey yeah. who were working there in the uh, limestone deposits uh, near Nairobi. Yes. And uh, one of them lives in the city and uh, he had hired uh, two of our students. Uh, now he's a GSI officer, Dr. Ravi Shankar Chaube. And the other is uh, famous as lovely, Subhay uh, Prasad Singh. Uh, both are employed in the country. And they remember their uh, great uh, visit to Kenya and the uh, huge chunk of money they earned as students uh, and uh, how happy they were offering that money to their mother. So there is an opportunity for all Indian geology students, though he's looking for metallurgists. Ultimately, the ore, every ore goes to a metallurgist, but the geologist is the uh, prime uh, resource for any processing of uh, ores. So um, the message across uh, uh, to all geology students, uh, because uh, I'm sure Ramit's enterprise is going to go sky high. Uh, Ramit, give a message to our geology students, what potential they have to assist you and to earn and uh, learn. Well, the first thing is uh, always look forward, have a vision, have an objective in life irrespective which part of the continent and globe that would be. Uh, never give up. Uh, always be out there building contacts, networks. Uh, however small an opportunity that it may appear, pick it up. You never know where it could lead to. That's in any, any career aspect, not just geology, metallurgists, in any sphere of life. Uh, once that opportunity is picked, however small it is, it is now up to you to see how best you could capitalize it and take it forward. So for us, it's just to try and give you opportunities, try and show you that there exist such brilliant scopes in life. And we encourage you know youngsters to come, take them, and not just be discouraged by the fact that you know it's Africa. Uh, Africa is the next place to be, and uh, it should be explored as soon as possible. Rami's father is a political scientist and uh, he is a social worker in Kenya, very active in the Arya Samaj circle. And uh, uh, obviously, he is a great father who has such uh, great sons, uh, who are such great entrepreneurs. So, uh, Ramit uh, has uh, given a great message to my young friends. And uh, I would uh, give a, enlarge it more. The whole world is the uh, playground of all geology students because these political boundaries of the countries are drawn by man. Nature created one planet and all these beautiful uh, continents and uh, they were not where they are today. The whole story of the paleogeography of the planet and these continents being much closer is known to geologists uh, better than uh, chartered accountants but we are trying to teach him that and he's trying to help uh, our students uh, learn and earn. So it's a message across. We have some students from um, BHU talking to him, some students from um, Kanyakamari and from Dehradun talking to him. So my message across, we will, uh, this message will be on my YouTube. Anybody interested can get in touch uh, with Ramit through that. The potential of employment in the coming months and years it may be small, but I'm sure South African countries are very, very rich. And um, that's the reason Ramit is also quite rich, the richest in our family. So I look forward to Ramit making my students and some young boys and girls from this country. Um, not as rich as him, but slightly rich. So pleasure talking to Ramit in this uh, park of uh, Sector 49, Chandigarh. Ramit uh, was in Chandigarh when he was a young boy and he was a Delhi student. Which, where you studied in Delhi? Uh, Sri Ram College. Sri Ram College. That's a great college. And uh, 
Sri Ram College is great because it produces students uh, like Ramit Walia. So Ramit, thanks for coming and uh, we look forward to having contact with directly between uh, uh, our youngsters and Ramit. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.